everyone and welcome back to my channel happy friday from katie charlie and baby philip and um we would like to welcome you to our little chit chat video it's not a chit chat actually i'm going to talk about a uh, i would say serious matter it has been brought to my attention uh certain things and questions so I decided to revisit this topic. I did a video a few months ago and actually a friend of mine, Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns, she did a video because I asked her to do a comparison video to explain the difference between master artist and prototype artist and uh, the whole process. So she did a few months ago, but I got a lot of new subscribers and also there are new channels constantly coming and there are you know people buying and selling dolls so there has been a little I'm not saying situation or it wasn't uh, anything serious but it was brought to my attention uh, uh, together with a few questions so I decided I would address this topic again for all of you guys who did not have a chance to watch my first video or who are new into the hobby and the community so today i'm going to guys once again talk about the difference but i'm not going to talk about prototype artists it's pretty clear how to determine who is a prototype artist and who is not i'm sorry that's charlie he's stretching <laughs> here um, today i'm going to talk about the difference between master artist and a professional artist and how we can use or how the artist can use or cannot use certain terms and titles guys because it's um pretty there are certain rules that uh even artists they have to follow guys excuse me i'm going to have a sip of my water and while i'll be chatting i will slowly change uh, Philip just into the onesie. It's a little but baby do with little like teddy bears. I got it last week. Uh, not last week. Last year. I think it was before. I yeah, when I was expecting him, I ordered this, and I never had a chance. So I was digging in my bins, and I found it. And I thought, okay, it's so hot, and I'm really. Uh, since I'm going to be talking about uh, a topic, I am not really up to doing uh, any complicated outfit and the chat all at once. So I'm going. I'm just going to undress him and put this on him while I'll be talking about this. So guys, I it was brought to my attention. Few people asked me, and I also noticed that there is a lot of mistakes done when it comes to usage of a term of master artist, guys uh a lot of people they uh have this misconception that master artists you can use the title i have heard uh several th theories you can use the title when you have uh been awarded any award like ri aa award which is usually awarded uh, for uh, certain sculpts uh, to the artist and then uh, you have million awards Facebook has their award well I know that the Russian Association of Artists they have their awards uh, they you have a lot of guilt out there so people ha uh, even I've heard that uh, people or artists are starting to calling themselves master artists artists uh, when they reach 10 year milestone of when they're reborning for 10 years okay uh, this is all guys uh, not correct information now prototype artist uh, not prototype artist professional reborn artist is not the same thing as master artist I'm going I'm just going to say this here and clearly I'm not an artist I have been but I have been doing a lot of research guys because I do not like to talk nonsense on my channel I, I really I really if I make any mistake, please correct me down in the comments or email me, guys. Uh, but uh, yes, as I said, professional reborn artist is absolutely not the same as master artist. Master artist is a title. It's an award awarded to the artist by Ayora which is an institute, guys. Okay, Ayora, I, I, 
O R A. I pronounce it Iora is an institute, is not a, a reborn artist guild. And to my understanding, it was founded in 2009 because they just needed to uh, have some body, to form a body to regulate the quality of artists. Okay, guys? So they are just here uh, to make sure that artists deliver or their members deliver the highest possible quality and they have a great also customer service. They have a clean history when it comes to reborning. There you have a lot of sculptors also who are the members. Now, so as I said, Iora, it's an institution guys and it's the only institution who awards the title master artist. Okay guys. It consists of president, then they have the board of honorary, like the board, that's a group, like the highest group of artists who are actually constantly searching the internet, uh, and that's eBay, Facebook, Instagram, all social media for new fabulous talents out there in the artist world. Now, it doesn't matter how many years you are a reborn artist, you can make only two or three insanely fabulous babies and you will you may be invited okay and you may be awarded a master artist but uh, and you can be reborning for 15 years and you will not be invited guys I just want to make sure that there is no 10 year milestone that uh, gives the artist the right to call them them themselves master artists they have to be invited by Ayora. They have to submit their work. Like, usually it's at least few years of work. Uh, uh, and then their work is, of course, judged by this panel or a board. And then this board decides, all of, all, all of the members have to decide anonymously. And then the master artist title is given guys uh or the membership some call it it's a title and it looks like all master artists now i'm this is guys very very important especially people who are buying on etsy because i've seen a lot of nonsense going on on etsy people using the titles left and right they are master artists all of them then uh, also they also use only stock photos of prototypes and people pay $900 and then they receive a doll that looks absolutely atrocious so I'm telling you guys if you want a doll from an artist who claims that they're a master artist especially on Etsy you need to ask them for the guild it's mandatory for them to display this plaquette it's plague plaquette i don't know how you pronounce it now this thing is given i asked for permission uh to pose natalie's which is my artist usually she's uh from Russia, she's a ma master and prototype artist, and I asked for permission. I asked her actually uh, for permission to post it on Instagram and on here. Uh, so it, the, they have to display this Ayora thing, guys, every, uh, in their listings, guys. Now these things are refreshed every year. So this is from the last year. It goes from July to June. This was her thing from July 2017 to June, June 2018. Now she was awarded once again from July 2018 to, July, to June 2019. So this thing is not to be taken lightly, guys. You, you cannot just use it a lot. Or artists shouldn't be using it, you know, just like that. Now, do I think that there is a lot of, you know, there is some uh, something sneaky or shady going on? For the most part, I think that artists do not realize uh, what is the difference between master artists and prototype artists. I have actually uh, also impression that a lot of artists in the past, they thought that uh, they were calling themselves master artists instead of pro uh what am i going to 
instead of professional reborn artist, not prototype. So yes, guys, this is I was I'm doing this video. I don't think there is a lot of malicious intent out there, but I'm just doing this video because people asked me, is this person a master artist? Is this person a master artist? They asked me also about one of my Russian friends, friends, who is who has awards left and right. She has a lot of awards, but she she does not have this thing. So and I. Uh, they asked me about this particular thing, so I'm not going to name any names, of course, you know, the, I'm not here to uh, talk about anybody. This is purely, guys, educational video. So this is the master artist plaque that you have to have displayed on all your listings everywhere where you are displaying your work. You should have this displayed if you're using the term of master artist or title. Now, as I said, Iora is an institution and they have their president who is master artist Suzette Duplassie from Petit Sherry Art Dolls and she is the president of the board. And this is her thing. So once again, you have Iora symbol here. You have the master artist title, you have the name, and you have the name of their nursery, guys, okay? So this is just not that one day you any artist wake us up and uh, call themselves master artists. You have to be awarded this thing. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about membership. Um, membership is not that you decide that one day you will be a member of IORA. You have to be invited. You have to be invi invited by the board. And uh, usually, well, usually one or few people invite you and then the board reviews your work. So once again, it's not all that easy, uh, all that easy guys, to get there. <coughs> Excuse me. So and, and what is why what are requirements to get there? Uh, to to my understanding, according to their website, it is excellence of execution. That means that you have to produce a beautiful, gorgeous dolls. Uh, uh, painting should be flawless. Uh, also, they take in, into consideration a certain. Um, styles now like you have these certain nurseries and they have their little signature style so they take that into consideration you know how okay there are certain artists you look at the doll and you know it's it's their doll i look at uh okay i'm, I'm going to talk about uh philip's artist philip's artist is daria medulianova who is also russian a master and prototype artist um and her dolls are, they have the signature look. All of Daria's babies have this glow. Now, he doesn't have as much capillaries as my Catherine, but then he has this multi-dimensional glow and shading. And uh, I, I wish my camera would actually capture it. It's there, there is no way. But uh, he, his painting or Daria's painting is different from, let's say, Catherine's painting, Catherine's artist painting, Natalie's painting, or Evie's painting. His uh, hair is, of course, immaculate. I mean, you know, I, I am very, very picky about hair, guys. I'm just not going to uh, pretend that I'm not, or uh, this is not me just being snobby or anything. Hair is my pet peeve. I am having a trouble bonding with babies that um, I do not enjoy the hair too much or the rooting or I remember my little Alice, she lost the hair. Now, uh, Ella is something else. I do not mind Ella's funky hair because uh, I don't know why, actually. I am going to have her rerouted in a near future. But I have been talking to a root, Rooting artist already, so uh, but uh, let's say my little Elise, my Caroline, 
she was this beautiful little Elise and then I decided uh, she had some breakage on the back of her head I, th I suspect that her hair was not sealed properly so I had her rerouted and uh, I picked the hair I saw the color and everything I, th I thought that it may be too dark but then I thought okay she'll have the hair like me and so make the story short it was a disaster and I sold the baby I did not bond uh, back with that baby because of the hair so as, as I said I am very particular about my hair then uh, about the details I am that kind of collector who is seeking realism I, I love looking at gorgeous babies with certain style let's say little vintage look babies you have a lot of styles actually in this art this is amazing this is fabulous uh, this is what I love about collecting that all people I think uh, all of us we have different tastes somebody likes this some other collectors they have completely different style but that's a discussion for another day actually for this weekend so back to this master artist thing so as I said what are the requirements so th for the first one they are mentioning is uh, excellence of execution then they have consistency and identity of design this is exactly what I was talking about guys uh, each Iora Iora's artists have to have their signature style now Daria's signature style is this glow for sure all of her babies have this glow uh, I don't know how she does that glow but I love it. He looks like he is sun-kissed. He truly has a lot more dimension. Now, let, let me a little bit brush his hair. Then you can see on camera, but I'm going to... See, styling hair, styling Reborn's, my Reborn's hair is my obsession. I would like... <laughs> okay, I need to st stop fiddling, but I'm going to put the sucks on him just because uh, I have air conditioning. So anyway, anyway, so I was at identity of design. So that's, uh, I was talking about signature babies or signature style babies. So Daria's signature style is uh, this little glow on babies. Now, if Natalie's like, uh, if you looked at my Evie, she was uh, absolutely, she looked like, uh, I always laugh. All of the babies that, that Natalie does, uh, they are cute. They are so adorable. Her Chloe babies, uh, her Bonnie Brown babies, uh, all, all of them, they are absolutely, like when you looked at Evie's picture, you would just uh, kiss that baby constantly. It's just like, it doesn't matter. She can even uh, take, uh, can I? Should, should he have these? Oh, that's okay. Uh, you can have even these unattractive, or I'm going to talk for myself now, these unattractive scalps that I'm not actually drawn to. And then I see Natalie's version, and I, I, I absolutely love that doll. And that's exactly what happened with my Adira. I fell in love with Natalie's Adira. Uh, and then... I then sold my or I sent my kid back and I switched it for Gabriel's kid just because I just fell in love with that baby I did not actually enjoy that scalp that, that all that much because it had three-quarter arms but um anyway so that is a signature style and so uh, and uh, well, you can go, guys. I'm not going to, of course, repeat what I see uh, here on the website. You can go to Ayora website, and that is ayora.org. And you have everything. You have home members. Or, or you, you have these uh, babies that um, right now Ayora members have on eBay. So you have basically all, all information. I, what I just really wanted you uh, to know or to talk to all new ladies out there that um, master artist and professional reborn artist is absolutely not the same thing, guys. And uh, how to, and you know, some people, actually a lot of people ask me how to get 
uh, to the list, to check the list. And I said, you don't need to check the list. All master artists who have been awarded this title by Ayora, they have to display those little, how would I call it, plagues in all of their auctions or on their social media guys so uh if you have if you are in doubt i just say just message the artist and if the artist does not have it it doesn't mean necessarily that they have any malicious intent a lot of artists they just don't know the difference they just think because i really heard all uh, these uh theories that you can be called master artist because you have been reborning for 10 years and you know th th uh, th theories like this you know what actually will take you because I want to see his pieces so yes ladies uh, as I said you just ask them if you are in doubt I don't think that any artist will get mad when you are in doubt just ask the Marty uh, as the artist themselves if they're honest they will tell you yes I am or no, I am the member of another guild and I maybe I made a mistake or anything. Let's not see anything shady behind uh, everything. If you are in doubt, I say, you know, check it, ask. This is why we have private messaging system. This is why we have direct messages, why we have emailing of uh, artists out there, even on eBay or Etsy. They, there is a messaging system, I would say, before purchasing, just ask. Uh, and not only about this, I mean, if you have any questions, if you want any details, if you have questions about shipping, about insurance, about this and that, message, message, ask, ask. Nobody who is honest will have any problems with that, guys. And who pe pe people who actually have problems with questions, that's a warning sign, guys. If somebody is ignoring you, if somebody is uh, rude, if somebody uh, gets all worked up because you asked the details of the feet, or you asked for details of the uh, routing on the back of the head, or you asked about the credentials, if these people get mad or aggressive, or you know, not treating you politely, it's a warning sign and it means run for the hills, guys. So yes, guys, I want to thank you all for being here. I hope I, I kind of explained this clearly, this uh, this thing. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask down below. I will link Ayora's website down in my description. Anybody is uh, free to go to browse uh, their requirements, everything about them, about their history, about their honorary membership, about their regular membership, about their board about the president, everything. So guys, yeah, educate, educate, educate yourself. Read, read, read before you purchase, before you spread some misinformation because it may lead to troubles that are not even intended to be created, guys. And uh, let's please be nice to each other. Let's be polite when we are communicating. Let's be... Uh, understanding you know not every mistake is has any malicious intent i just say try to communicate communication is the root of everything especially if you're buying expensive pieces of art like these babies they're not cheap so i say ask as ask and i think every normal honest artist will have no problem spending time answering your questions so guys thank you so much for watching i will see you tomorrow with another video because i have another baby that is really craving camera time i have another great topic so please subscribe please hit the button so you don't miss a video from us we love you we want to wish you a wonderful friday friday and i will talk to you tomorrow bye